to one and all present over here. I am Dr. Rashka Thakkar from Faculty of Management Studies, MBA Department, here for the alumni webinar. I would like to quote Adam Smith, fill your life with experiences and not things, have stories to tell and not stuff to show. Today we have with us one such person of a prominent alumni who have a lot to share and tell to us from his experiences from a student to a teacher and now an in charge director of a prominent MBA institute. We have with us Dr. Jignesh Trivedi from the batch 2007-9 of PIET MBA. Dr. Jignesh Trivedi, sir, is working as an in-charge director and as an assistant professor at BBA department, Khyati Business School, Ahmedabad. He has worked as an assistant professor at MBA department, Narayan Business School, Ahmedabad. He has also worked as an assistant professor in BBA department at CPIBA department affiliated to Gujarat University. Sir is also a guest faculty at PDPU University, Gandhinagar, at FMS department, MBA, Paru University. He is also a visiting faculty at Gujarat University, MBA department, and Baba Sahib Ambedkar Open University. Sir has been awarded by the Nirma University for the best research paper as well as by the GT University for the best research paper in the international and the national conferences. He has also received the best teacher award from Value Education in the Bad. Sir has published a variety of research papers in renowned international and national journals in his time span of academic journey. Sir is an MBA in HRM from PIET MBA, Parul University of Engineering and Technology MBA department. And he has also earned his PhD in management. There are a lot of qualities uh, and there are a lot of more feathers in his cap. So if I go on uh, explaining his journey, it would take maybe half an hour. So. On behalf of the entire Faculty of Management Studies and the entire Parul University, we heartily welcome to you, sir, for this alumni webinar. And we are really thankful that you have spared your valuable time to join us and to share your views, your experience. As I said, that from a student to a professor and now as a director, we are really proud of you, sir. And we are really grateful to have you here on this platform. I hand over the session to you, sir. Thank you so much, ma'am. Mm. I hope I am audible to all. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. And I think uh, you will be uh, you you will be uh, like a role model to all the students uh, because you started uh, your journey as a student and now you uh, are uh, the director of a well-known institute in Ahmedabad. So I think you you are a role model to all the students who are here. Thank you so much, Jignesh. Thank you, ma'am. So you actually made me overwhelmed. I, actually, I haven't looked into my CV so detailed. So whether <laughs> I'm surprising the moment why I on my video so that people, those who are here, in order to get some ideas from me, can look at me and understand that I am a normal guy. Uh, everything what ma'am has told it was her generosity like uh, no 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 i am your one of your senior like who came back to you after so many years so uh, you can recollect like i was at your place in 2007 like not more than 13 years before so uh, the session would i uh, session is something good i would like to continue with it is not a typical teaching session. Let me tell you very frankly, because ma'am has already told me, like uh, you have completed your class and you ran into this session. So the subject and topic is something like, I just wanted to give some highlights 
somewhere down the line it would be useful for you in order to shape your career well so with that uh, mind uh, let's continue with that it would be a very lightening session because you guys are already tampered with so many sessions and all i know mba is a kind of course so that is why this would be very lightening session no typical so much teaching would be part of that so uh, let me share my screen are you guys able to see my screen yes sir okay thank you uh feel free to ask where you think clarification or if you have any question in your mind i would love to answer and uh, you can use chat box like uh, parallel in case you want to make it so as uh, it was mentioned significance of organizational behavior in career development so how ob this particular subject can help us to design bright career now if you can see the word bright i have kept b small n r in capital can anybody can anybody tell me why i have done this generally we don't write like this any any idea so maybe you are trying to say that a design a right career for yourself be right bright is a, a shine and be right a correct a correct line to design a career a right career excellent here. excellent very true like if you want to design a career it should be right career first if it is right then uh, sooner or later it will be transformed into bright so how ob can help us to design our career or we can say up to that extent that ob can help us to make our life in a proper path if we can understand this particular subject not as to get grade in one particular semester but it will go ahead with your entire life uh, i like this subject because i am from hr domain it's not like that if you can ask anybody who has uh, come across certain years in whatever discipline he or she fit fit into then ob is a subject helps him or her a lot so like you you guys have already uh, have this subject in first semester i guess uh, yes sir okay so how about syllabus everything has been done almost half uh, yes sir almost we have completed 3 to 4 uh, modules of the obs okay so definitely your faculty has shown you different ways like how different things would be so in one hour it would be very much difficult to go into entire detailing but yes we can try to cover up by having a small roller coaster ride of ob how it would be helpful to us so like ob is organizational behavior it's an entire ocean so many things would be here like it starts with contributing disciplines of ob how organization behavior that particular subject we have made up then about our personality attitude then different leadership theories different leaders how they are thinking motivational theories about group about conflict then stress people feel and ultimate organizational culture along with all sort of power and related politics with it so so many stuff so slowly and gradually we'll try to cover whatever is possible during this session not from your uh, 
point of view of theory but how we can correlate in day to day life once you complete your two years of degree and when you jump into corporate or any other field to start your journey so how it would be helpful so as you over like when we talk about contributing disciplines so first thing mba is a kind of course anybody can come from any discipline like from commerce science engineering all different background people can join give me a moment huh? so people will come from all different background like typical science background people engineering people then commerce people and somewhat those who have studied commerce and arts related humanities subject so it may possible people have not come across subject like sociology or psychology they never ever have gone through such particular terminologies particular ideas about human behavior so ob is one particular point for them to establish a contact and rather to understand about psychology हम रूटीन में बहुत बार ये यूज वर्ड करते यूज करते रहते हैं कि साइकोलॉजी कैसी है इसका साइको ये तो मतलब ये साइकिक है वी टैन टू यूज बट बेसिकली साइकोलॉजी इज ऑल टू गेदर डिफरेंट सब्जेक्ट साइकोलॉजी में भी आप इनडेप इतना जा सकते हो देन सोशियोलॉजी एज ए ह्यूमन बींग यू आर पार्ट ऑफ सोसाइटी सो सो मेनी डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट आर देर वेन पीपल आर इन ग्रुप how they interconnect with each other how they communicate how they receive and they reciprocate social psychology and put them all in one line that is anthropology human being how interact so these are disciplines which has given ample amount of opportunity to people those who have not studied this so ob when people read it first time it seems very difficult like serious subject but when you come across working by keeping in mind the concept of ob and when you think practically then definitely you will get a proper benefit of this the reason why i am telling you आपको लगता होगा कि कुछ लोगों को अगर थियरी बहुत पसंद है दे लाइक इट कुछ लोगों को स्टोरीज पसंद है दे दे आल्सो मे लाइक इट कुछ लोगों को लगता है कि सर टू मच रीडिंग इज नॉट फन सो वी डोंट बिलीव इन टू दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ टेक्निकल जार्गन विच हैज बीन मिक्सड अप बाय मेकिंग अ कॉम्बो ऑफ डिफरेंट डिसिप्लिन सो टू बी ऑनेस्ट वेन यू कम अक्रॉस ओ बी फर्स्ट you might have different kind of reactions but why i am telling you this thing because like 2009 uh, uh when i have completed any the moment next same year i have joined academics and from 2010 i am teaching ob so like almost a decade i am teaching ob at both the ug and pg level but what my personal experience is every time when i come across a particular theory or particular model defined in ob so every time i try to figure out with some new concept some new ideology behind it and it will go little more in depth and when you correlate it with certain situations in and around us then it would be very much useful so that's the first thing like all those disciplines otherwise it would be difficult for us to go and get learning about all those disciplines separately now here is a small picture any guess about what we are talking 
So your slide is not changing. You're still on the first slide. Give me a moment. It is now? Yes, sir. Okay. Are you able to see the picture of elephant? Yes, sir. Okay. So, you can resemble anything from this picture? You might have heard this story that is of uh, six blind men and those who have come across elephant first time in their life. So they have never, obviously, because of blind, blindness, they cannot see. So when they had a first uh, encounter with elephant and everyone has tried to touch different parts of the element, uh, elephant body and that accordingly, they perceived things differently. So same goes with us in organization. Like when we enter first time, when we meet new people, we try to perceive things as per our own capacity and sometimes based upon the previous experience. Like obviously, ye jase, aapko madam ne, uh, aapne webinar ka jab dekha hoga ki that this is the particular subject and this would be the speaker, then he must be from our university then it would be on this day, then uh, you joined. So it may possible from the moment you came about this webinar and right now you are attending webinar, your perception tend to change, right? Yes, sir. Guys, other can, others can answer no issues into that. You can use chat box or uh, you can unmute yourself and you can reply. So that is what perception based upon our experiences, based upon our expectations, we try to form perception. And that is how based upon that perception, if we try to develop our perception on right manner, then success would be there and we have to fight less fights. So right perception would be required then second thing, like from OB, we can learn that attitude. Generally, we keep on telling this is about attitude. In terms of the moment you met someone first time or you come across somebody first time, we have that judgmental, we can say it's a kind of disease. Like uh, immediately we start getting judgment about something or someone. So the way we say attitude, it's like it is, it's difficult to change. Like over a period of time, people cannot change it. But when we talk about attitude, it is something based upon your experience you have cultivated. So if your attitude would be right, your attitude would be positive towards situation then in organization you can beat most difficult situation and sometimes impossible situation for your colleagues or for your superiors even. So OB tells us that always be in right attitude irrespective of the situation. So that's what one someone has said rightly that attitude is the ticket to the success. Like if you stick to your right attitude, irrespective of the next person's behavior or irrespective of the situation, then you can win the battle ultimately. Like we can quote a recent example of uh, Indian cricket team trampled at Australia. So that's what nothing, it was all about right attitude. So they won 
in a right attitude right spirit and ultimately they have achieved which was simply impossible to achieve i hope you guys have gone through that series pura nahi to thoda thoda to dekha hi hoga so that is attitude but at about attitude one thing is it is difficult to change over a period of time so one has to work hard upon that because somewhere down the line it associates now when we talk about personality and attitude attitude is refers to our opinion our beliefs about different aspects and when we talk about personality it's aggregate of person's feelings thinking and behavior personality like the moment you can easily judge like he is this kind of person he is extrovert he is very rude he is very shy or uh, like she is very talkative she is very shy so like kind of we can easily come to know personality is something which reflects in the behavior so that is how we can come to know and in organization when we go to work we need to learn how to analyze the personality of our surrounded people because if we know their personality better accordingly we can communicate with them we can interact with them and we can give justice to our work profile if we fail to understand the personality of next person whatever way our motive would be right ultimately we entered into wrong discussion and result which is not at all desirable by both the ends so it's very crucial like we have seen this thing in households even husband and wife after getting married constantly they are fighting for years like in indian a uh, typical trend they won't go don't get divorced so easily but they kept on fighting on silly things for years now one only small change is required that both the people that both the parties husband and wife needs to understand each other's personality type like if you can understand then half of the fight will go towards the level of zero so like different personality types you also have been studied so if we can look upon the famous one uh, we can come across this kind of people like type a a director always thinking about what to achieve uh, always believing into com- giving commands risk taking love to take initiative so kind of directorship type b a typical socializer believing into maintaining relationships and all love to have outgoing very and to in terms of maintaining things type c thinker kind of a scientist mind very logical always come prepared always go into detail keep on asking questions come out with logical arguments less talky but whenever talk then talk sensible so kind of thinker then there would be supporter task oriented always helpful to you stable obviously when you are stable then only you would help others to make it stabilize and cautious so like some examples if you can look upon we need to identify a person the first part about personality that we need to check our own personality first and there are certain tools to identify that is jury window or transactional analysis would be very much helpful in order to judge ourselves first and then we can 
get proper identity about the next parties to whom we have to interact daily now why i am telling you this because suppose you have joined an office ob is something you have already only studied in semester 1 then sem 2 3 4 you are into finance or marketing or hr and now so many different options are available apart from those four basic ones so ob is something you have put aside after uh, almost one and half year and when you get placed towards the end of fifth semester or the beginning of sixth semester or something so what happened no one will tell you then go and get your ob book and start behaving because the way we got the job or in that particular line to get the job how we behave so up to that particular gate of particular office uh, you will try to groom yourself you will have personality coaching and how to prepare interview prepare for interview and placement sell and they will work a lot and based upon that you will get good opportunity and you have been selected now once you jump into that particular company's gate from there ob will start it to help you but tab tak kya hota hai hum bhul jate hain ki aisa koi subject humne padha tha kyunki 1.5 saal ho chuka hota hai for and with everyone's things would be like that but now it actually comes into picture because the moment you walk into company organizational behavior will start its working so from first day from receptionist or even before that from security guard the one who is helping you in parking your vehicle to receptionist to hr department to your departmental head to housekeeping everywhere your ob will just besides you if you can feel so if you know well about your own things then next thing what you need to do identify that what kind of person he or she is so these are typical examples like type a type b type c or type d based upon what interaction you had with that person obviously you interact so you have to learn what kind of personality those people possess so accordingly you can start interacting with them and getting results which would be in your favor so it's like you won't get all socializer you can you can't make all fun oriented stuff with everybody in the office you won't get all thinkers all the time busy into only logics you will not find a supportive hand in everybody's soul and same all want to be that much demanding but you will find definitely any one or two types mixers in every one of them available in an organization so we need to understand what kind of personality a particular person belongs to what type of person he or she is and accordingly you put up your behavior you try to show your character you try to deal with your right attitude right attitude where you try to avoid the negativity and try to show things in a positive context then your initial passage would be very smooth in any organization at any level आप सब क्रिकेट देखते होंगे आर यू गाइज आर अवेयर विद इंडियन दो इट इज नॉट इंडियन नेशनल गेम बट हम जनरली उसे बोलते हैं कि इट इज लाइक नेशनल गेम फॉर आर कंट्री राइट सो 
एक बैट्समैन जो होता है अच्छा खासा बैट्समैन भी सो इनिशियली उसके आउट होने के जो चांसेस है यू कैन कंसिडर सचिन तेंदुलकर एज अ रोल मॉडल सो फ्रॉम जीरो टू फिफ्टीन आउट होने के चांसेस बहुत ज्यादा होते हैं वन सम ही क्रॉस्ड फिफ्टीन प्लस देन स्लोली एंड ग्रेजुअली टू गेट हिम आउट वुड बी डिफिकल्ट फॉर दी ऑपोनेंट बॉलर्स राइट सो सेम रिसर्च ऑल्सो टेल्स द सेम स्टोरी दैट फॉर पीपल दोज हु हैव ज्वाइनिंग एनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टू स्टे देर फॉर इनिशियल सिक्सटी डेज would be very crucial because out of those 60 days you could have your orientation or your induction or your welcome season would be from one day to seven days or sometimes 15 or up to 30 days then real picture starts then after if you can survive that particular initial phase then you are not going to leave in the year itself you will go ahead but how to survive during that passage because everything is new for you and everybody has their own expectation based upon their perception about you so that is why ob helps you to identify people with that personality type supported with their expectations and you can apply a proper calculative behavior so that your initial phase will go smoother that would be one thing now these many different motivational theories you have been gone through or you will be shortly ye aap logo ne padhi hai ho gayi hai sari theories Yes, sir, हमने स्टार्टिंग uh, कुछ थ्योरीज कर ली है सो दिस ऑल आर ब्यूटीफुल थियरीज नॉट ओनली फ्रॉम एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू टू राइट अप लाइक दोज हुव बिन इन टू मैनेजमेंट बिफोर एम बी ए लाइक बी बी ए बैकग्राउंड और इलेवन ट्वेल्थ कॉमर्स इन स्कूल सम पार्ट ऑफ दैट मेनी अदर थिंग्स आर न्यू बट दीज थियरीज आर नथिंग बट basically it's a learning like in normal routine how people actually feel about themselves like the pioneer from starting from abram maslow to adam's equity theory every scientist every researcher these all were researchers and they try to contribute something like how we can make people motivate so these theories will help you in both the ways when you have joined an organization how you can make yourself motivated and if not then how you can communicate the same to your superior and rather than that this theory will be very much helpful to you when you would be into commanding position like after having 5 years 10 years 15 years of experience you would be the head of particular department you are handling an entire branch you have certain number of people working with you then how to manage because for a leader the terrific task and mammoth burden would be keep motivation level of their employees or their staff high राइट right? ये हमेशा लोड रहता है एक लीडर के दिमाग में कि कैसे मेरे साथ जो लोग हैं वो हमेशा हाई नोट पे रहे दीज थियरीज विल हेल्प यू टू अंडरस्टैंड डिफरेंट परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ डिफरेंट पीपल लाइक मैस्लो हाइर की बता रहा है कि फूड शेल्टर एंड क्लोथ देन सेफ्टी then it's about social being social then some esteem needs and finally actualization hertzberg told things differently like certain things are common which does required and others thing can motivate 
like salary work conditions would be there it should be there so it is common but if you provide excellent growth opportunity then it only motivates same goes with existence relatedness and growth so magellan said you will find people into different parameters if you would be a leader you need to understand you will have few people would like to achieve task oriented they want to work hard they want to take risk they would like to become responsible for, for their own work another one the friendly ones so kind of socializers they would like to affiliate with people they would love to be in group in a team they don't want to hurt anybody and the last one always love to have power authority a kind of status so you need to understand that from your colleagues from your subordinates you will find people of different requirements so someone who love to work at his own and you go and you talk about uh, going out or extending your health they want to enjoy same if someone is striving to get affiliated with you having a good relationship with you and if you hit them hard by using harsh words things won't work vroom's expectancy theory that is a kind of valence expectancy and instrumentality so like it's about companies work what would you what efforts you would like to produce and based upon your efforts performance comes and due to that performance you will get some reward but whether those reward would be suitable to you or not so same thing as a leader one has to think when they offer rewards to their employees ab aap jisko auto rickshaw bhi nahi aati hai use aap luxury car gift karoge to uska koi meaning nahi so leader needs to understand expectancy level of their followers their subordinates so that is what these theory teaches equity theory people often compete with oneself and the others apni past organization se compare karenge apni present organization se compare karenge apne sath compare karenge they will try to compete with others in order to get justification like i am in right position or i could be in better position so that's what different motivation theories will help you to keep your staff motivated same goes with these leadership theories first five like great man theory leaders are born many of present leaders have denied it's not like that trait theory certain particular trait will make you leader not vice versa behavioral theory that how you behave in a particular situation against environmental protocols so which makes you a leader transactional theory like though uh, it has been widely used and that's why it is called management theory let's say you have given some task and not completed you will be penalized if you have completed you will be rewarded so that is management style transformational theory purely relationship based being a leader if you have so much confidence so much faith in the capability of your subordinates your partners then you ask them by giving free hand that you can work as per your own capacity as and when you would be in trouble i'll be helping you out and the final one situational theory 
says there is nothing called a specific style of leadership but whatever the situation commands if a leader can behave or leader can manage that situation then that would be the best leadership style so no predetermined agendas no practiced theories but as per the situation if you can connect then it considers to be a situational leadership right these would be a common leadership styles why i am telling you this see i don't have an intention to go into entire ob in detail but my attempt is to uh cover up most of the main points where while you are learning because still your internal exam and probably university semester and exam is left so when you are reading this particular subject my urge is don't read it from the perspective to get good bang into this subject but try to connect it with your surrounding try to connect it with yourself try to get it connect with your own behavior so that you can remember it for long period of time and if it will be in your mind in your heart somewhere down the line actual application will start when you walk into a company an organization because in a student life when you have joined college it, it would be ug it would be pg treatment of your mentors your faculties academic non academic staff would be different but when you join somewhere even as an intern or as a full time treatment of people would be totally different so at that point of time you should have an idea about these stuff which helps you to mold your career in a proper and faster pace than your colleagues it's not like that it is not available it is available very easily everywhere but the problem is people don't realize that it is accessible and one can start making use of it so these are common leadership style at some point of time somebody would be coach one is very visionary foresightedness is very high one can act like a servant very humble one is autocratic no need to classify one who is always give you free hand someone believes into having meetings and discussions democratic one is very peace setter and mind always helping you to get motivation very much helpful transformational he put up challenges before you by keeping in mind your capabilities and help you to grow faster transactional ek hath mein danda leke you have to do this you will get this won't do you will have this bureaucratic go by companies rules and regulations so these were common style now when an organization gives you an opportunity to become a leader which style you are going to select that would be up to you at that point of time you want get the book and try to read that how i will become a good leader but if you understand this while attempting this subject then definitely you can frame your behavior on a later stage kuch logo ko aap mein aap mein se aisa bhi lagta hoga ki sir Uh, to get a job is still far away business 1.5 years and in amid corona like things have got changed because of a penny virus but why i am telling you because when you join into like 22 and or 23 like when you get the job 
over five years, ten years down the line, you will surely be reach at a position where you need to take support of others. You have to direct others. You need to help people. So you will be in a position. So that thing should be very clear in your mind from the beginning. You cannot jump into directly branch manager or vice president. But if you work in the right manner, if you go into right path, then no one will stop you from making yourself at a position of vice president or even CEO. Though it will take time, but as you guys have learned, learn your planning. Planning is something where you can make well in advance. So why I'm sharing you this motivational traits and leadership traits because as an employee you might not be used it that much but when you become a leader then this particular things would be very much useful to you and these things only will make a differentiation between you and other leaders or managers organization may there would be different kind of leaders or managers successful managers popular managers passive managers and active managers so into which category you would like to fit yourself in that purely depends upon how you understand your people how you want to motivate yourself and others and the same way how you would like to lead upon and iske liye aapko bahut dur jaane ki zarurat nahi hai you can check upon uh, respected dean dr bijal zaveri yes <laughs> hello uh, how are you uh, jignesh i would like to take a two minutes from you sure sure ma'am okay so i think uh, really uh, we don't feel you are as a just student alumni visiting faculty but you are very much connected on a very regular basis that i feel that uh, you are uh, just a part of the mba program so really it would be a great platform to due to this digital era the digital platform that we are able to connect with our old students and he is a very much senior and a very close alumni for this mba program and you are getting this opportunity to learn about the leadership style he started his journey and the way he is right now he is also working as a in charge director for that business school so it would be a great leadership style you cannot learn leadership style just we can say that you have to observe such alumni and those who have not attended today i feel that they are, they are missing so many things because see everything is available on google everything is available in textbooks but the way you will get you will uh, get experience from such students such seniors and own our we can say that a brand and ambassador of our mba department i think you can learn so many things so thank you jignesh for providing this uh, platform and valuable, valuable guidelines to our students you motivate similarly like yourself i still remember your 2007 journey and now i feel very proud the way you start, you are getting success in your uh, in your own career so thank you so much and uh, you can continue with your session special thanks to ashka madam also providing uh, such a valuable opportunity to the students but sometimes they don't have that much uh, they don't understand the value of such thing we feel that so thank you ashka madam Please yes start. yes thank, thank you so much ma'am thank you so much okay jignesh jignesh yes jignesh continue please thank you ma'am for your kind it is such an enlightening session, uh, session even uh, i not being uh, an hr person i am getting interest for this yes yes <laughs> and this is the thing that uh, sometimes uh, in a real life these are the need of learning they are missing yes. when when we say that we can when we read the things we cannot understand but really thank you jignesh once again thank you so much ma'am it's my pleasure thank you so, and thank you so much bijal ma'am for all the support which you give to us okay 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 thank you madam ashka ma'am just would like to ask you it is 12:30 so uh, can i have more 10 minutes or something because students might have session uh, yeah, yeah. uh yes oh. yes uh, yes sir five, five 10 minutes you can have and like uh, any question answer if they have you can uh, like answer to their okay. queries or any yes. uh actually the problem is uh, when i was 
thinking about this particular topic i try to cover most of the important topics in ob and in the greed of not leaving a single topic i try to cover off so ob is a subject like in one particular topic we can go into number of hours uh, yes it is so, so vast like the scope is so huge so that could be the case but uh, as i have said so from leadership angle then next thing comes into uh, if you can look into picture it's about a team it's about a group so when we join the typical group development or team development theory you guys have seen uh, that forming storming norming performing and adjoining so it actually happens in any group it actually goes with every teams so we need to learn now it was a different era of fw taylor that jisko jo kaam diya hai wo wohi kaam karega now it's not like that you have to be a team player so you have to change your perspective in that regard ye kab hota hai ki like your faculties will tell you uh, you have to make a group and you have to do your project together and sir i am not comfortable with him or i am not comfortable with her but that that choice won't be available with us when we actually go into organization so we teaches us that how you can form a group or how you can manage your team engagement sometimes it is possible you don't like that person at all you don't like the way he deals with the things but still he is part of your group or you are a leader and you have to manage many people like him or her so where ob will comes into your rescue and ob will only tell you like how you can manage if you can understand the way these people behave you can put up appropriate strategy and your work will get done and again i am repeating on to like two exercise you must have done or it will be uh, later on done by your faculty that is transactional analysis and johari window or somewhere down the line if we got an opportunity we will be having a separate session on that so it actually helps us like how you can understand about yourself first because it is very much crucial that we should know more things about us than others koi aake aapko bolega usse better hai ki aapko pata hona chahiye ki who you are once it gets clear then second dimension now how to deal with others so this two wonderful things have been generated in like 70 years before 1950 1955 but these two things like in big corporates people are using at manager and vp level but if you can learn very basically into your mba level then you can simply apply in your daily routine transactions when you step into and for that you don't need to go into your job even you can apply this particular parameters in your mba journey the way you are dealing with your instructors or your friends or ad administrative staff if you learn about this particular interaction mode from johari window and transactional analysis very powerful tool then ultimate result will be in your favor so we is having a capacity to make your way as smooth as possible i am not saying that hurdles won't come in your way if you know ob well but if you practice ob on daily basis then surely you will suffer a lot lesser than others and you will get maximum advantage and certain advantages are such it will be learned only by practicing so ye how i am telling you because a uh, more than a decade i have been through with this ashka ma'am jo aapko bata rahe the i was very volatile into shifting jobs 
so i have been through four to five colleges as a full time and more than eight to nine locations as a visiting so i have come across academic and non academic staff of different universities and colleges as part of my short term and long term tenure where ob helps me and ob continuously teaches me different things so that's why my intention behind this uh, short interaction was only that you please try to consider this subject as a key which helps you to start and mold your career in the right direction because everything starts with right behavior i what i believe like i have been separated from university as a student since 2009 but it is 2021 until date i never feel that i am not a part of parul university somewhere down the line i could able to develop a kind of relationship with my mentors during those point of time and over a period of time i keep on and reaching that relationship every time i come across and i'll come to know something new something and reaching so the way you provide same way you receive back so that is what uh in order to conclude like still so much stuff is left but as i am having another assignment at 1 pm and you guys would have your class so last 5 minutes if anybody would like to ask related to this anything it's open uh, ashka ma'am yes jignesh uh, yes uh, thank you so much uh, jignesh for your valuable time uh, i think uh, you have covered a lot i think all the dimensions of ob uh, have been covered so nicely with uh, the practical example uh um, so uh, i think this this would give them a lot of insight to the theoretical knowledge which they are uh, having right now in form of uh, uh, their uh, syllabus so i think this will be an add on to uh, their learnings so like any anyone uh, would like to ask any question to our alumni any questions you are having Okay, so I think there are uh, no questions from from the student side. Uh, they they are uh, very much clear with uh, what you have been uh, discussing since last one uh, hour. Thank you, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Jignesh Trivedi, from the entire Faculty of Management from the entire Parul University for accepting our invitation and uh, to virtually connect with our students. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much Ignesh. It's uh, my pleasure and it's my honor plus my duty to be part of PU as and when it demands. Uh, and I'll be always there. And meanwhile, if after this, if you get any feedback in terms of question or doubt from students, please let me sure. know. As per my capacity, I surely love to answer. Sure. and you have been you have been a part of so many uh, events till date uh, for the uh, department and for the university so i think uh, any time like as you said for jory window and for the other topics if we want to have a separate uh, session we can have like for, for that surely thank you so much ma'am and thank you so thank much you. students for thank joining thank you thank you so much jignesh thank you so much uh, all the students for joining thank you Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Take care. Thank you, ma'am. Have a good day. Thank you.